Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Tonight's topic is about hot seed, hot bird seed. A lot of questions, a lot of requests to do a little more information about it. I've talked about it in videos about how to discourage squirrels, how to keep squirrels out of your bird feeders. and um, But people want just to talk about the hot seed, not about the other methods that uh, uh, I recommend as well. So it is all about hot seed here tonight. So why do people want hot seed? Well, you know, like me in my backyard right now, my, my situation is that I have to feed from my deck. And that, so the squirrels can get into my feeders. They can get into it, it, pretty much anything I put bird seed in. Now, I use squirrel-proof feeders for the most part. So, you know, cages that slide down and keep them out. They're very, very effective. I love them. Uh, but there are also open trays that I, I, I like to feed because the, the open fly-throughs are great for not excluding anybody. And they and it's basically cardinals like those open tray feeders, flat surfaces from the land on. So I've experimented with different kinds of seeds to put in those. Um, and I have definitely used the, the heat-treated seeds. So what is... The, the story with the heat treated seed. Obviously, it's just normal bird seed, and a lot of companies have different formulas for it. Uh, I use uh, the the ones from Wild Delight, a company that I've been dealing with for over 20 years. Uh, and this is uh, a good example of the, their packaging and the, the raw seed. You can see how reddish that tin is to uh, to this squirrel away. It's in the picture here, they call it. Um, they also have uh, a sizzle and heat squirrel. Uh, anti-squirrel and anti-mammal uh, feed as well. So why does it work for mammals? But it doesn't discourage or hurt birds. It doesn't hurt mammals. Why? How is this working? So it is, it, it's just like when you bite into a, a hot pepper and or eating a, a spicy food at dinner and you, you, you take a bite and you go, ooh, mm, that's spicy. What, what happens? What do you do? You typically don't take a second bite of that spicy dish that you didn't like, right? Well, that's the whole thing behind hot seeds. And that is mammals are more sensitive to that heat. Uh, there, it's usually a mixture of different pepper oils that go in. To, and they, of course, it's mixed in the factory. So it's, it, it's absorbed into the seed better than just sprinkling on like pepper and stuff and, and into your seed mixes and stirring it up. So it's definitely better distributed through the seed and coated. So when a mammal bites into it and eats it, it reacts where a bird doesn't because of their taste bud system. Mammals have thousands of taste buds on their tongues. Plus, mammals produce a lot of saliva. And so that helps ignite that, that, that heat with the oil, and, and it is spicy to their tongue. Birds, on the other hand, they don't have... They've only got like 90 taste buds on their tongues, and they don't produce hardly any saliva at all. So it's a really different taste system in birds. And bird temperatures, 105 degrees for songbirds. So they're naturally, their body temperature at a natural higher level so that the, the heat doesn't affect them. So uh, the seed's now been around for, uh, what, 30 years or more? And it's more and more popular than it has ever been because it is very, very effective and it's not harmful. So uh, not only do they have it in, in seed mixes and seed blends, but they have it right here in a soot cake. The soot cakes have been around even before the seed mixes. The soot cakes came out because especially for raccoons that were taking off uh, soot feeders at night. So the hot uh, really hot sea, uh, suet cakes are very effective against the raccoons. Now, there are some, you might have tried a suet cake that was labeled as hot, and the, it did not discourage the raccoons. Not all of the suet cakes are created equal when it comes to the heat inside of them. We've had some that we discontinued because people were reporting that the raccoons would eat the, it, those, but not these. So these and uh, CNS a hot pepper cake, we, those both work very well against the raccoons. So really, the, it depends on how you want to present the seed. You know, if you want to feed it in a loose form or in a suet cake, they also make uh, the, the seed cylinders, which are very popular with the hot seed. This is called burn and love because it's all sunflower hearts in it. There's no waste, anything, but it is hot and the squirrels leave them alone. 
But if you do want to mix it yourself, if you don't want to buy or you can't buy uh, that those seed mixes at your store, they do sell just the liquid uh, peppers. But this is called Flaming Squirrel, and it, it you mix it like three t uh, cap bowls of three t t tablespoons to five pounds, and you'll figure out your own formula that's very effective against yours. But just like the seed and just like anything, remember, if, if you mix up a bunch and it's out in the open air, the longer it's out in the open air, it's going to lose some of its potency. So you only you only want to mix what will, you need at the time and then mix up fresh every time you go to fill it because you don't want that the seed to get used to that seed. And with that, when I say get used to it, that's a good point. Uh, do do all squirrels uh, shy away from it? Uh, I can tell you no. Uh, they, it's just like in humans that some are more tolerant of the heat than others. So, you know, we're, I've got probably five or six um, gray squirrels that come up to my deck, and I have one squirrel that was, was tolerant of the hot stuff, He'll, but he wasn't even much. He so uh, some of the seed, and then he goes down to the end of the deck and drinks from the bird bath, and he'll leave the seed alone for a while. He doesn't sit there and camp out in it neat, neat, neat like you would if it was just straight sunflower. Now, fox squirrels, gray squirrels, I don't know about flying squirrels because I don't have flying squirrels, but I assume it would work against flying squirrels. And also for you guys up north, the red squirrels, I assume that it will. I like I said, they're mammals, their taste systems the same, so I would think it would uh, it work against those as well. Now, against larger mammals, what I find it, it, it is that it's, I have never seen a deer eat it. Now, that doesn't mean they don't. I, you know, my rule of never say never and never say always, but the, for deer and uh, raccoons, I know the raccoons on my deck, leave it alone. I've, I've seen them on the cameras walk up and sniff the feeder that has the hot seat in it, and they turn and walk away from it. See, dogs do the same thing. If you got dogs they go and can you know, go up to the feeders that has the hot stuff in it. They sniff it. They turn and leave. They, I mean, you know, they know that they don't want that. And that's what you're doing. You're trying to train those mammals not to eat your bird seeds so your birds can eat it. Chipmunks, it's another animal I'm not quite sure about. I don't have them. And I know Ruth has some in her yard, um, but. They love safflower, which is one seed that some birds uh, don't like and some squirrels don't like. A lot of squirrels don't like, but boy, those chipmunks love it. So maybe the hot seed's the answer for you if you've got chipmunk problems, and that's worth a try in that circumstance. And then a, a lot of questions about rodents. Uh, will uh, rats and mice eat it if I have those? They shouldn't, but we know that they're adaptable and they eat just about anything, but it should work the same on them as it does any other mammal. It should discourage them. So um, it's worth giving it a try. You know, they're, yes, the seed costs a little more because they, they, they mix it for you and they have the additive in there. Some people try, you know, mixing in cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes and things like that. And there's a certain, certain bird seed mixes. And I've had many people report mixed results by doing that. And, and again, because it, it, it tends to, the, the effectiveness dissipates with air. And so the peppers are not nearly as hot after a day or two than they were that first day. So if you want to try that, you're more than welcome to do it. They, you know, it, it may work, might work for you. It's worth a try anyways. But if not, I can tell you these seed mixes uh, that have it pre-soaked into them before it, it arrives in the store that is bagged in there, they, are, they tend to be very, very effective. We sell a lot of it. And, and people report great luck with it. People swear by it. But every once in a while, like I say, just warning, a squirrel comes up and, and, and people say, oh, he must be from Mexico or from somewhere with like spicy foods because that there is always once in a while there's a squirrel that will eat on it. So that is what hot seed is. That's why it affects mammals. It doesn't affect birds. Uh, it's very, very effective and it's worth giving a try. So great idea for a program. We appreciate that suggestion. If you like the program, please give us a like, give us a share. And if you're on YouTube, you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit that notification button so you know when I'm on next. So until next time, let's talk birds.